Welcome back to Therani, I'm Joe B. Today we'll be talking about the muscle kinetics at the hip, knee, and ankle during gait cycle. Let's dive in. Gait cycle is the pattern of movements that occur while walking. It starts when the heel of one foot contacts the ground and ends when that same heel contacts the ground again. It has two faces. The stance face where the foot is in contact with the ground and the swing face where the foot is in the air. Let's go over the stance face hip, knee, and ankle joint range of motions first. Your stance face has five sub faces. The first one is the initial contact, also known as the heel strike, in which the heel first touches the ground. If you take a snapshot of this face, there is gluteus maximus and hamstrings eccentric or lengthening contraction at the hip to prevent too long of a step to not compromise knee stability. There's also a quadriceps concentric or shortening contraction at the knee to keep it in a neutral position and tibialis anterior isometric contraction at the ankle to keep it in neutral position. After the initial contact, we proceed to the loading response, also known as foot flat, which starts when the whole foot contacts the ground and ends when the opposite foot comes off the ground. Here, the gluteus maximus and hamstrings contraction changes to a concentric or shortening one to allow the forward body propulsion the quadriceps contraction switches to an eccentric or lengthening one to avoid knee buckling, while the tibialis anterior also provides an eccentric contraction to avoid foot slapping. After the loading response, there is mid stance, which starts when the opposite toe comes off the ground and ends when the heel comes off the ground of the lead leg. To allow smooth and controlled hip extension to neutral zone, there is iliopsoas eccentric or lengthening contraction. The quadriceps performs a concentric or shortening contraction to prevent the knee from buckling as it accepts the body's full weight. Finally, the gastrocnemius performs an eccentric or lengthening contraction to slow the forward tibial translation to prevent knee buckling. After the mid stance comes the terminal stance. It starts when the heel rises off the floor and ends when the opposite heel strikes the ground. The iliopsoas here performs an eccentric contraction for a smooth and controlled hip hyperextension. The quadriceps does an eccentric contraction for a smooth and controlled neutral position to flexion position of the knee in preparation for pre-swing. Finally, the gastrocnemius switches to a concentric contraction for preparation to a forceful pre-swing. The final subface of the stance face is the pre-swing. This starts when the opposite heel contacts the ground and ends at toe off. The iliopsoas, quadriceps, and gastrocnemius contract the same as in the terminal stance. The swing face, where the foot is off the ground, is further subdivided into three sub-faces. These are the initial swing that starts at toe off and ends when the swing leg is parallel to the stance leg. The iliopsoas here performs a concentric or shortening contraction to flex the hip and advance the leg forward. The hamstrings also perform a concentric contraction to bend the knee and avoid foot drag. While the tibialis anterior does a concentric contraction to move the ankle from a plantar flex position of the pre-swing to neutral and reduce foot drag. Then we get to the mid-swing where the thigh reaches its peak advancement. The iliopsoas hamstrings, and tibialis anterior muscles here performs the same contraction as during initial swing to prevent foot drag. The terminal swing occurs when the swing foot passes the stance leg and ends when the swing leg, specifically the heel, contacts the ground. 
Here, the gluteus maximus and hamstrings perform an eccentric contraction. The quadriceps perform a concentric contraction, while the tibialis anterior performs an isometric contraction. All these muscle activities are the same as during the initial contact of gait. If you want to know the range of motion values at the hip, knee, and ankle during gait cycle, then you should watch this video. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please like, share, and comment. And for more therapy animations, please subscribe to Therani.